Hey guys, what is up? Alex Scott here with Concertini.com. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our super cool studio gear reviews. Today we are taking a look at a very cool microphone. This is the Rode NTK large diaphragm tube condenser mic. This is a fabulous sounding mic and it is sold at a really, really great price. If you guys aren't familiar with Rode, they're an Australian company. They've been making mics for years and years and years, have made some of the most renowned mics in the world and definitely some of the most renowned budget mics as well. Things like the NT1A, the NT1, the NT2 are all very, very popular mics for home recording folks and people on a bit more of a budget. And this mic is no exception. It retails for, I think, around five or 600 bucks. Um, and for that, you get an incredibly high quality, robust, all tube design. Uh, it's pretty simple as well. There's no real pads or polar patterns or anything like that to worry about. It's just simply a cardioid tube mic. It sounds awesome, very clean, very natural sounding. It's one of my favorite mics at around this price point. So if that's something that you guys are looking for, definitely check one of these out. So what I'd like to go ahead and do now is just give you guys a quick sound demo of this mic. We're gonna take it out into my tracking room, set up the camera and play some drums through it, play some acoustic guitar through it, and do a little bit of voiceover so you can get a good spectrum of, of uh, what she sounds like. And then hopefully you guys can uh, make your decision on whether or not you would be interested in picking one up. So let's head out to the tracking room and see how she sounds. Okay guys, so we have our Rode NTK set up directly over the center of the kit, about three and a half feet up from the snare. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Okay guys, so here we have our Rode NTK set up as an acoustic mic, about six inches off the 12th fret, pretty typical. Um, I am in open detuning, which is kind of fun, uh, but let's hear how it sounds on acoustic. <laughs> Okay, and now we have our Rode NTK set up as a voiceover mic. I'm just going to talk into it for a moment so you can get a good idea of how my voice sounds through it. Uh, very natural sounding, very open sounding mic. Uh, you can hear just a little bit of that tubiness. Um, really just a phenomenal mic overall. Um, it doesn't have as much of the kind of modern sheeny bite as a lot of the other Rode mics do, like the NT1A or the more solid state mics. Those can tend to be a little bit bright. This one I find to just be really flat really natural sounding very very even keeled overall as a microphone so okay so there you go Rode NTK absolutely phenomenal sounding mic it's got that real beautiful euphonic kind of tubey sweetness to it uh, but it, it's not overbearingly warm it's not overbearingly brittle or bright or anything it's just a really clean and natural sounding mic now I know there's gonna be some people who kind of complain about oh well it can't do figure eight or Omni or it doesn't have a pad or low roll-off or anything like that and to me that honestly like sometimes that stuff can really come in handy sure but you can do so much of this stuff in post now, at least in terms of the EQing or padding or anything like that. Um, obviously, polar patterns is one thing. So if you are looking for a mic that can do Omni and figure eight and all that, this might not be a great choice for you. But if you just want a really simple cardioid mic that sounds phenomenal, has a little bit of that tube vibe to it, and you're looking at spending, you know, around five, six hundred bucks right where this mic is sitting, this is an excellent option. You know, I would compare it to like the Aventone CV12 or the Lawton LA320 would both be comparable mics, but I actually like 
the tone on this mic the best out of those. Um, the Aventone can get a little bit brittle sometimes. Um, the Lawton, you know, has its own thing going on, but this thing, it just sounds so clean and so natural. You know, you're, you're going to get really good, just even recordings that are, are very transparent and very neutral so that when you take it into post or if you're using a cool preamp or something, you can really get your tone there as opposed to choosing this mic because it sounds a certain way, which I really, really like. It gives us a lot more flexibility in what we're doing. So again, if you're looking for a mic like this around that price point, this is going to be an excellent option for you. Highly, highly recommended. Again, my name is Alex Scott with ConcertDini.com. Thank you guys so very much for watching the video. I hope you dug it. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new videos. And if you can give this video a like or a share, that would also be much appreciated. And definitely leave us a comment as well. I would love to hear what you guys think of Rode mics in general or if you've used the NTK in the past, what you think of it, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you prefer another mic like this a little bit more than this one, I'd love to hear your thoughts thoughts. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video.